up everyone, it's Jonathan with Barry Throwbacks. Uh, back with another video, but this time instead of showcasing one specific jersey, um, I'm gonna kind of do a comparison. So uh, real quick, I got all of the, well, this is my girlfriend, so. But we have all uh, the three color waves of, you know, the mid to late 2000s style Warriors jerseys. Um, really mostly just the 2000s in general, the early 2000s to the late 2000s, but these ones are, we got the Baron Davis, um, Adidas, uh, which I just posted a video recently of, of from 2008, from the actual time, vintage jersey right here. And then we have the two Mitchell and Nesses. Now, I'm just showing this one. I'm not going to use this one in this video, but the reason why I'm going to use this one instead is because the white one... The white curry has uh, the lettering and numbering is three. They have the navy blue, the yellow, and the orange. Whereas this has two layers, navy blue, white, and this has two layers, um, yellow, orange. So I think it makes more sense to compare these two um, opposed to the white one because there's obviously going to be differences with that one considering it's a three-layered um, color lettering numbering so now before i go into it i'm going to point out that this is from 2008 and i mean actually from 2008 um i was pretty sure in the video i didn't know for sure that i posted on this jersey but now i know uh king and i just pointed out that um they do put the o eight there and there which means on the tag there's an o eight which means that's the year they made this so this is from 2008 where this Mitchell Ness is a replication of the 2009-2010 jersey, which um, Curry's rookie year. So even though it's the same, they stuck with the same style jersey, it does not mean that they didn't maybe change certain little specifica specifications, little things that we may not notice every day on the jersey. I mean, year to year, um, companies change little things that we may not notice. As, And I'm talking about material-wise, like the... The style may stay the same, all that may stay the same, but they may change certain little things that we don't notice. So, um, even though I am comp comparing a Mitchell and Ness to a original um, Adidas, <clears throat> I do have we and me have, and myself have to keep in mind that these this is from 2008. This is based off 2009, 2010. So there may have been some changes that were made within those couple years uh when adidas was still making the jersey so uh let's just get into it though i'm going to throw these on the bed now we're gonna check them out first off obviously got two totally different jock tags obviously it's michel ness so obviously it's going to be different so that's kind of the obvious basic no really point to talk too much about that now here with our numbering you have the kiss cut style stitching on the Mitchell and Ness jersey. Orange outlining with the yellow inside. And this same thing, you got kiss cut all the way across. Now, let's look at the Adidas. The Adidas is not kiss cut, it is just regular double stitched. And like I said, that doesn't mean that maybe they did the orange different, orange jerseys different from the blue, navy blue jerseys. We don't know. This is not necessarily a video downing Mitchell and Ness for whether they made the jersey right or not. This is just the jerseys we have and how comparison to how they compare to each other. If you look at the side of the jersey on the Mitchell and Ness, you've got that like upside down V, um, I don't know, slit. I would call it a slit. I don't know what the what you call it. Slit, cut, whatever. On the bottom you got that on both sides here same thing so you got that same thing going on with both of these jerseys sorry as she walks in so you got that uh if you look at the neck on both the yellow part comes out there the white part comes out there so that's similar so i'm just making a video comparing the Mitchell and Ness to the Adidas of the style jersey, just so you know. Nice. Yes. Anyways, so. It looks better. Anyways, um, if you see the white 
white, not white, yellow um, kind of string, going, or not string, uh, piping going down here. It comes, how can I explain this? Like it comes off. It's like, it almost feels like a shoelace was kind of stitched down on the Mitchell Ness, whereas here, oops, my bad, there. It's layered from the yellow, I mean the orange on top, then the white's a little lower, and then the yellow is even lower in the sense of, I don't know if I can get a good, I'm trying to see if I can get a good explanation. I'm sorry if my explanation sucks right now, but, so the orange is a little bit higher than the yellow, I mean then the white, and then the yellow's even lower. So, okay, here, look. I don't know if you can see how the white comes up a little bit here. And then it goes into the navy blue side. Whereas here, it's the yellow is really the highest one. The yellow is like a whole separate piece that looks like it was just, you know, just, it's just, uh, what do you call it? Like, like, uh, stitched down. Almost like a yellow shoelace or something. I know it's not a shoelace. I'm just saying that's what it kind of feels like. So, it's almost like this is its own thing that was just put on. Whereas, like I'm saying here, it's almost like layered from the orange down to the white, down to the yellow, down to the navy blue. I hope that makes sense. I know sometimes I'm not very good <laughs> at explaining, but I hope that makes sense. I hope, hopefully. All right, so now let's look at our this part here. This part and this part here, I gotta say, is pretty much, it feels damn near this, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty much the same for the most part. Um, I do feel like the, I don't know what you call it, the ribbing, it just feels a lot, this does feel like it's, it, it was done tighter, whereas this is a little, not as tight. I'm trying to see if we can look side by side, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if you could tell what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry for what I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It's easier when you're feeling it, but most part, you wouldn't tell the difference. But like I said, you could see here, it's kind of more, seems like it was put down a little tighter as opposed to here with just how, you know, how it's kind of made. Um, our NBA logo. See, it feels now that's pretty much the same. In fact, like they both, you know, let me see on the inside of the Mitchell Ness, it's the inside of the Mitchell Ness, inside of the Adidas. Obviously, we're gonna have different tags. Uh, take that out. Uh, here's the uh, tagging for the Adidas. Right there, it tells you uh, 2008 right there. And here's your Mitchell Ness tagging, 40 medium. And this is a 48. Uh, let me see, I'm trying to think, is there anything else in the front specific to look at? I mean, if you feel the material, you know what? Let me see. Yeah, I mean, the thickness pretty much feels the same. You know what? Mitchell Ness might feel a little thinner. A little bit. Not not too much, but a little bit. You can feel that the Mitchell Ness is a little thinner than the original Adidas. Let me go to the back now. <clears throat> So we got on our original Adidas, we got our Thunderbolt, which is sewn in. And let's look here. Same thing, same concept, obviously different colors, same concept. Um, let me see. I will say, tuck blends in a lot, but that little, where it comes down here, the stitching, it's more of a cut there. Whereas here, it's the angle's different. Like you see here, it goes and then it, it, it angles down. Whereas here, it angles like pretty much evenly 
cross almost. Um, both have the single stitching for the name directly on the jersey. So the stitching, you know, is pretty much the same. So obviously different colors. On our 30, we same thing. We have the um, kiss cut stitching. Here we got double stitch. Now, I bought this off someone who told me that this was not a customized, like, they didn't take this somewhere else to get um, the numbers and lettering customized. They're saying they bought it directly back in the days from... The store like this. So this is, from my knowledge, I don't know if anyone else has um, Adidas late 2000s um, Warriors jerseys that can confirm, but they said that this is what it was like. So we have the double stitching, like I said, whereas on the Mitchell Ness, you have the kiss cut. Like I said, once again, though, we're talking about 2009-2010 uh, season, and this was most likely 2007-2008 season because this was made in 2008. So, and which was Baron Davis's last year with the Warriors, 2007-2008. So, I'm basing it off of that. Here you got the same thing. You got like the layered, just like the front, same thing, layered. Here, whereas here it's not really the blue. Like this blue to here is not a different layer. This is just straight across, and then they just stitch down the yellow um, piping. I'm trying to see, is there anything specific else to bring up? I mean, we got bottom matches up with that. I'm trying to think, is there anything? Oh yeah, you know what? Let me here. Let me compare real quick. Um, the the blue on the neck, because early we looked earlier at the uh, around the shoulder and armpit area, but around the neck, the collar is. This part is wider than this. It is a little bit wider. Um, let me see the yellow here. Yeah, so this is layered on the Mitchell and Ness. Like how I said, the side of the Adidas is, where this is one layer, this is like a second layer, and then this is a higher layer. And then here, let's see what we got. Yeah, it matches. I mean, the blue. Let me see. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Yeah. That's how it matches. That's how it is on the Mitchell Ness. The blue. Then it goes up to the yellow piping, and then the orange is a little bit of a higher um level. So that pretty much matches up for the most part. I mean, yeah. For overall, I mean, I feel Mitchell Ness did. For, I mean, the the knowledge that I can give, like I said, these are based off different years, even though they're the same style of jerseys. You know, oh, you know what? Something else. Let me actually point out before I move on. Yeah, let me flatten these so, have a little decent amount of room here between there and the, uh, the piping. Same here. Whereas here, it's probably less room. Obviously, size of jersey. That could be a, a reason. Um, year. I mean, because let me look at the white one now. Yeah, the white. See, the this is Mitchell Ness as well. This is pretty close. But if you look at the jerseys from those years, I mean, the Warriors went um, low. Uh, the word Warriors. The word Warriors went almost across from piping to piping, almost all the way. When you look at like the game, these jerseys or just pictures of the players. So, yeah, I mean. You can see with the Adidas, I feel like there's a little, there's more room. But like I said, it's could be because it's bigger jerseys. There's many, you know, variables to this subject, obviously, you know. But, oh, this is something different though, I noticed. That's just a, a outline stitching around, it looks like. And here, it's like that. Just a little different things, it looks like. Let me see the inside. See, that's the curry. See, so the Davis here is just stitched outside, whereas here it has, I don't know if there's a name for that or what you call that, but I mean, if you're watching, you can see the difference a little bit, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, they're almost, couldn't really detect too many differences just by, you know, your average, if you're just looking at the jerseys or wearing them. Overall, I mean, I think Mitchell Ness did a really good job with this one. Like I said, though, there's many layers to this discussion. 
that I can't, because like I said, unless I got a 2009, 2010 um, Adidas jersey to compare it to. And like I said, even I would even need the same color because they may change certain things depending by color. I can't fully, you know, give a full on assessment. This is what I got right now. So that's what I'm comparing it to. Like, I, and like another thing you got to remember, just because Adidas made the jerseys then does not mean that they made their, you know, their retail authentic as compared to what's actually was on the court. A lot of companies do not make their, uh, their, what they call authentic, the retail authentic. They don't always, you know, though my, there will be differences between that and what's on the court, which is why I like to, at least, especially with like baseball, I try to get game use and team issue jerseys because you know you're getting what is on the one on the field, what was in the clubhouse, all that. So, like I said, Mitchell and Esme got a hold of a game use jersey and, and, uh, made it up, you know, com and made their jersey compared to that, um, opposed to Adidas who just made theirs, you know, how they wanted to make it. Now, like I said, these are all things, you know, there's just so many layers to this conversation in general. Um, so all we know, the Mitchell Ness might be even closer to those one on the court than the actual Adidas Authentics. We never know. I mean, you can know, I guess, if you get a game use jersey. So anyone who does have a game use jersey, let me know, because I would love to hear how you how the Adidas Authentics from the time compare to what was actually worn on the court. Same with the Mitchell Ness. And like I said... Maybe in 2009, 2010, they switched it to, to kiss cut stitching, opposed to before that they, they had the double stitching. So, like I said, this man, this wasn't even this wasn't to say what either one was worse or what was closer to was on the court. I just thought it'd be cool to just compare the two, kind of, since I have the orange one and my girlfriend has a blue one. Like I said, we can compare the white one too, but the white one is, like I said, the white one with the triple, with the three colors. I just think it, it didn't make as much sense as comparing it to the blue and the orange. So, the blue and the orange to each other. So, that was the video. Let me know. Um, like I said, if you have any game use or team issued, pro whatever, any of those jerseys from that time period, please let me know um, how it stacks up to each other. Also, if you have an authentic 2009, 2010, let me know because that even better can tell me what it's. That could tell me too. Um, that would be a better comparison to the Mitchell Ness version because that's the year that this is based off than my 2008 jersey, uh, Baron Davis. So, this is what it is. Either way, uh, let me know. Like I said, uh, please like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, if you are subscribed, thank you for checking in again. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Peace. Peace.